Hi, losers. This is Sarah. I'm hoping Book Brooke will join me, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. We've had a pretty rough couple of weeks, the two of us. I think sometimes, you know, when we're all stressing and going through things, everybody gets triggers and gets frustrated. Anyway, um, I am just going, because we missed last week, so let me explain what happened last week. Um, I did wake up Monday sick. I had, like, congestion and everything, but it was minor. And then Brooke was sick, so we're like, let's just cancel it. Maybe we can do it midweek. Well, midweek came around, and let's just say I was not feeling great. It was probably horrible. I felt just terrible. And I'm still congested. I cannot hardly breathe at night. I have this congestion in my chest, and but I didn't want to skip another week because, really, this whole stream is about making changes every day. And, and the, I think it's just the perfect thing for us to go over mental health, right? And I could share some things, but Brooke's not here with me to share. So I'm not going to share those things. But like, you know, okay, first of all, I, I'm waiting for her to, um, she, she's reading her text. So give her a moment. But um, anyway, you know, this here, the mental health is so perfect because, you know, everything builds up. Okay. And I've got lots of notes and I read lots of books in the last couple of weeks. I, I just, I think it's such a, a key thing, you know, um, mental health and, and everything builds up. Just say, you know, let me just share. And I'm sure if Brooke gets on here, she'll share her week. I'm looking for a job still. I've been unemployed since August, right? Um, Yes, I had money coming in. I'll be honest, I've had unemployment. That pays a quarter of what I was getting, okay? So not much money coming in. Um, I mean, I could just go on and on. My health is ridiculous right now. I have been sick four times. So all these things start piling on top. And all of a sudden, you know, you just crash and burn. But this is, to me, this is why we're doing this. We are making these small changes, right? Because nothing's going to happen overnight. And the more we just keep putting it off and, and struggling, it, it's just going to keep getting harder and harder. Trust me, I'm 47, okay? And I'm not where I want to be at 47. So health wise, you know, everything like my job, I'm, I'm so sick of, I got laid off in three years, two times in three years at jobs. Okay. Laid off. People were restructuring and I get it because 2020 came along the economy. I like my fingers here. Economy's going bad. Right. So it's like all these things build up and your mental health just goes down the hill. And I, I've learned a couple of things, but I wanted to share it while Brooke was with me. So I'm not going to share a couple of things that happened and a lot of things that I learned because you you go through these moments and there's something here. And I'm just going to keep going because I'm not sure what's going on over in her area. She's having some troubles. And um, a couple of things that I, I got here, because I'm just going to do this because it, it needs to be done. I, I want this to be done. I want to change. I want to do this stream because it's going to keep me accountable. And you know what? I look forward to it. It's like a outlet. It's like therapy to me. So yeah, I'm, I'm loving this stream. Um, but I'm going to do a mental health definition. It's a person's condition with regard to their psychological and emotional well-being. Okay. And there is mental health and then there's mental illness. And I want to be very clear here. I am not a doctor. I don't diagnose anything. I am just learning this stuff for myself because I read this amazing book about a lady who struggled with, um, and it was just so good. And if I cry, oh, I forgot to bring my tissues because I figured I'd cry today. Oh, no, I didn't. Right here. Um, it's, it's just an amazing book. It was, a, and I'm just going to be kind of blunt and honest about it. It's uh, a lady who lost her son who committed suicide, but he had a mental illness 
it, his everybody has mental health. So this is what um, mental health versus mental illness. So let's get there real quick. So while mental health is always there and everybody has it, and maybe positive, negative, mental illness affects a person's ability to function over a long period of time. So mental illness is not the same as feeling sad, unhappy, frustrated, stressed because of difficult situations, right? Um, that that's mental health. That's what we're going to cover. Mental illness is a whole new subject. It, it requires diagnosis. It requires a lot of stuff. But um, the reason why I got this book is because I know the family and I know, I don't know them personally, but I know of them. Okay. Let's just put it that way. And I was, I remember when her son took his own life and it was devastating. And, um, coming from my circle, a Christian circle, a lot of people don't get the mental illness. And she really powerfully wrote a book about it and how, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it, but like a lot of hallelujahs aren't going to change everything. Right. So anyway, it's just an amazing book. And I, I picked it up because two things happened for me. Um, the last couple of weeks, well, I'm going to say month. Okay, because I'm going to list some things and I'm not saying, oh, poor pitiful me. But this is why we get to the point where we're at. And this is going to somebody. If you're listening, you know who you are. I love you very much. We get to the point where we just can't take much more. Okay, and it's not about other people. It's never personal. So. Last month, okay, I had a job offer, right? Recanted. My unemployment ended. Okay. Um, let's see, really, I have a couple of difficult relationship problems going on. Um, I, I mean, I really should have just listed it all. I have been sick since January four times. Okay. That's just since January. Okay. This is probably the longest I've had it. The congest congestion is just terrible and it's just so frustrating. I can't breathe. Um, at night, as soon as I lay down, it's like coughing and hacking. And I think I coughed so hard last night that I bust something in my stomach. Anyway, um, and I was like, oh, I'm going to bleed to death. I'll be gone. But, you know, that's the easy part. Death is the easy part in my, but I'm not ready to die. I'm, I'm wanna, I want to fight. There's a reason why I'm here. I want to fight. Anyway, so um, everyone has mental health. I just want to get this again. This is just about mental health, not mental illness. This is a difference to me. Everyone has mental health, but not everyone receives a diagnosis involving a mental illness. Mental health includes your overall well-being. So when everything is out of sorts, your mental health is not there. My mental health hasn't been there for a couple of weeks. I'm going to be honest and frank with you. I, I feel as though, and um, I think I understand a little bit more about depression now. And, you know, because I always thought depression, you know, these are these people that are just so lazy. They're laying on their couch. They're, they haven't showered for 500, you know, five days, seven days, a week, a month. And they don't have any ambition or want to do anything. But there is other forms of dis depression or discouragement. And I've been there. I've been there. Because I thought all this stuff, I'm going through all this pressure and stress and 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 you have to go it alone because nobody knows what's going on in your mind. Not saying you have you have a support system. There are people that support you, and you should have fine people who are support you. Real people, though, real people who are going to tell you the truth, and not just you know tippy toe around the issue. Because, like, a relationship that I had to repair and get things going. You know, people tell you hard things, and it's not easy. It's not easy to take, but you have to just start self-evaluating yourself. And, and my, my thing is this, it's always, there's two, it takes two to tango, right? And the one relationship problem that I had, I'm sure it was three quarters my problem, quarter their problem, right? But at the same time, we have to work on changing ourselves. We cannot change anybody else. That, that's what we're here for. We can't change anybody. We have to change ourselves one step at a time. And that's why I'm loving this. I feel like this is going to be the all in all for me because my personality is like all or nothing. And I'm sorry, I don't even have, hold on. I got my chats up. I didn't even think about chatting, people chatting. Okay. I can hear you. Thank you so much, baby doll, for the sound check. You are mute, auntie. Oh, 
Oh, I can't hear you. What? Oh, oh my word. Oh my word. Thank you, baby doll. I did not have my chat up. I, I was muted on OBS. I had that muted because I was playing. I, I played um, a little video on Twitch that was pre-recorded. I totally forgot to unmute. My bad. So all the first part you're gonna have to go to YouTube for. Okay. Because hopefully I got sound there. Um, let me turn it on. I didn't even think about chatting here. There we go, live. Hold on, give me a second. I don't want to try anything for free. Okay, so it looks though. So... Okay, nobody's chatting. Okay, so I didn't miss any chat there. I just missed it over there. Thank you. Anyway, so okay, so for those on Twitch, let me let me just recap a little bit here. So, um, and I hate to do it for you YouTubers, but you know, don't know who's in here. I don't see anybody watching. <laughs> we missed, okay, so real quick, we missed last week. It was disappointing, but we were both sick, right? But it, to me, I feel as though the moment we miss one thing, it's going to be easy to keep missing and to keep putting it off. And I want this to work for me. This stream is going to work for me because it's not just accountability, but to me, it's therapeutic. Like just getting things off my chest and, um, and learning and growing. Anyway, so we, we're talking mental health versus mental illness. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not diagnosing. We're talking about mental health and mental illness. There's a difference. Please forgive me that if you've been watching in silence, you missed half the stuff. Just go to YouTube and watch the first half, okay? Same name. Proud Loser Girls. Anyway, um, I have a lot of notes here, and I just want to go over them. And again, I, I, the mental health, the mental illness, I, I just want to make this crystal clear. Here's another one. And I should be telling you where I'm getting these informations. Give me a second. So on government, the government page on in California is the one I got some stuff on healthline.com. And then of course, if you just look up the definition of mental health, you just, it pulls up on there. I'm sure it's like, who knows, Webster or something. And then I have another one here that I've been looking at. It's just a post on, um, I don't know what they call it again. I feel like it's like, oh, what's that Prince Singer who keeps changing his name? As it wasn't he Prince at one time in X2 or something? He had no name. Well, here's Twitter and now they're this X thing, whatever. It's cra crazy, stupid. I, I totally don't even follow Twitter anymore. So I'm so sorry. Anyway, but this one I found on, it's... Um, uh, let me see. It's a, it's a patient, like it's mental health awareness week. And it's like the, from this patient thing, it's patient awareness or something on Twitter. But the difference is we have it. All of us have it to some degree, mental health. And it's a general state of psychological and emotional well-being. It can be good or bad or um, fluctuate over time. Ignoring signs of poor mental health and allowing them to escalate can lead to illness. And then we go into the mental illness, like, um, isn't something everyone lives with. It's a set of symptoms which const constitute a problem, a condition requiring diagnosis again, has a significant impact on how a person feels, thinks, behaves, and interacts with others, can have a physical impact or lead to further health problems. But uh, I was talking about a book for those on Twitch that I was reading, and I picked it up because it was just like the, the perfect kind of book, right? Because we're talking about mental health and I've been struggling in the last couple of weeks and just, you know, I've been a Debbie Downer. I'm not going to admit it. I'm not going to deny it. And, um, but that's what these are so great for is just to get it out there and, and be real. It's okay to be real. Um, anyway, let me go back in here, but that, that's what we're talking about. But we're just going to focus on the mental health because I don't think I have a mental illness. Praise God. I have, you know, Quirks and personality problems. Just kidding. Hold on. I got a cough. I'm so sorry. Here, let me mute. Let me mute. Let me mute. Oh, I can't. That was called a productive cough. <coughs> I've had a lot of non-productive coughs. Water, water. I'm telling you, I coughed so hard last night. Right in my bottom of my tummy, I, I swear something popped. I thought, well, I'm going to be dying overnight because it was so painful. 
it's still painful down there, so I have to be careful how I cough. So for those who have congestion, here's what I've learned about breathing because I've looked it up. I've had this for a whole week, so it's it's getting on my nerves. Um, you take a deep breath through your nose and your stomach should go out. You hold it for three seconds because that fills up your lungs and it gives the air and the force to get the, the crud out, like all that mucus. But it doesn't work all the time. And I got to cough again. And you always want productive coughs. Let me try. I've tried everything. I have I've had Dayquil, NyQuil, Mucinex. I've had everything. Anyway, so I'm going to just go over some of these notes here real quick. So mental health has five components. This is from Montana State University. Okay, these are my, I just look up. What I did is I just, because we're just getting to the basics. Because this is such a, your mind is so complex. Like your mind is so complex. And you, you, and this is a complex topic. This is something that's not going to be solved overnight. People are studying it still. Everything, right? Because we all have different personalities we have to deal with. We all have different stresses and triggers that just put us in the wrong spot, right? So mental health, there's five components of the, the Montana State University. It says physical, emotional, spiritual, intellectual, economic and financial and social. So these five things are like maybe components, but like triggers or something. And, you know, I look at this and I think, okay, physically, I'm not fit, right? Um, and we we didn't start with Brooke, so we got to start with the rose and the thorn and stuff and all that. We're, we're missing Brooke on that one, but we can go over that next time we get together. But because I, I haven't been successful, I, my water's great. But when you're feeling like crud, you don't exercise. So I didn't exercise my 10 minutes last week and I haven't started it this week. Hold on. Happy day. Oh, here, my last cough drop. This is my last cough drop. I've been eating cough drops like they're candy this whole week. Okay, last one. All right, so, <clears throat> so the mental health, five components. So physically, right? Emotionally, spiritually, I've been struggling spiritually. I have another channel if anybody ever wants to listen to it. Um, anyway, and then intellectual, you know, I'm not really stimulating myself. I'm not out there, you know, like at least with a job, you're always learning something new. You've got things that you have to keep going, you know, all those intellectual things, economic and financial, financial. Of course, I'm struggling. I don't have a job. Social. I mean, you know, my 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 housemate says I need to get out more and everything. Well, guess what? Oh, that's another thing I forgot to tell you. My car broke down. So, yeah, a little stressed, a little stressed. Look, I got on Twitch. That's how bad it is. Um, so anyway, so yeah, I'm a little stressed. And, you know, like, this is just the basics. How do we overcome it? Doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Talking about it, putting it out there, and working on how to change it. That's That's exactly what I'm doing. Because, again, this is about me changing myself. I can only change myself. It might, my mom always says, you can, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. So you, you can't focus on other people. You have to focus on what you can change and what you can figure out in your own mind and mental state, really. So there's four types of mental health, and this is the illnesses, okay? There's like mood disorders, bipolar, that's a diagnosis, Anxiety disorders, there's, that is the number one that I researched, anxiety disorders, that's, that's like, um, diagnosed, number one disorder, everybody's taking, and even the, the book that I was reading, the mom in here admits when she, when her, when her son was first diagnosed, I can't tell it, the story, it's, and I should put it in the, if anybody's interested, in the description, but once he was diagnosed, he, it's, and there's another thing too she mentions in here that I thought was interesting. There's I have a lot of notes in here. She it's hereditary in her family, and she goes over her whole um, line, and you know they didn't think anybody was um, had a mental illness until her son took some sort of acne medicine, and it just triggered everything, and she had let me see. I think it was 10 years he he once he was diagnosed. 
10 years of just a roller coaster ride that she shares in the book. And um, anyway, so, but they put mood disorders as depression. I don't think that's a diagnosis myself. Anxiety disorders, personality disorders, like, um, you know, multiple personalities, things like that. Psychotic, psych, psychotic disorders, um, schizophrenia. That's, um, a di you know, one of those that would be diagnosed, but those are the typical ones. But we're looking at the mental health where we we need to focus on our physical, our emotional and spiritual, our intellectual, our economic, our financial, our social, all those things. Is if you're trying to get mental health, those are the things that we want to focus on. And there's, you know, there's ways to improve it. I'm sorry, I have to keep looking over here because my notes are here. If I put them here, they'll be on the screen at Twitch. So um, anyway. So here's the ways to improve health, okay? And this is from the UK. I got this at the OR, the ORG UK, whatever, mind. Um, it says try to relax and reduce stress. Find ways to learn and be creative. Spend time in nature. Connect with others. Look after your physical health and try to improve your sleep, which my number one is probably sleep. And especially this, this week has been awful, just awful. Um, it's so miserable when you can't breathe and you have to sit up straight. Like I have to, my bed's over here. That's what I'm looking over here. I have to put my pillows up, stack them up and I can lay and, and breathe somewhat. But you know, when that cough attack comes, it's just, it's over. But, um, so those are the ways to just kind of start, you know, there, there's gotta be ways to start. And if you look at my life, I have a lot going on. No car, no job. <laughs> Praise God that I'm, I'm, I paid my bills ahead, right? Praise God. I have to look at the silver linings because if I don't look at the silver linings, the big picture totally, totally looks overwhelming. Um, this lady in the book, she describes this this way. Our, our life's like a tapestry. And if you've ever seen a tapestry, on the back end of that tapestry is just chaos, right? You got all the threads sticking out, all the chaos that's going on with that tapestry. But if you turn the tapestry over, then you have the beautiful picture. We don't get to see that beautiful picture, unfortunately, but we know it's there. We all have a purpose, okay? And I have other thoughts too, but this is not based on my Christian belief. I mean, it's, I, I have my Christian beliefs in here. Okay. I don't think I don't, but it's just like, I'm not here to preach to you. That that's the thing. Anyway. So you, you have this beautiful picture that our life is supposed to have and we do, but we're too busy in the chaos while it's being created. Right. And you look at that underneath and it's just complete chaos and you, and you stack up all the things that you have against you your lack of job, lack of car, lack of money coming in, right? Um, all of these things just start stacking up against, and that's when the pressure starts coming in. But again, silver lining, praise God I paid ahead in the bills when I had a chance. I didn't know this was coming. I, I, might, I might have, because I had a job offer, remember? And it was recanted. So I was thinking, oh, yay, good. And I did have an uh, interview this morning, and I did go to the next steps, which hallelujah. But they could still recant or not offer the job. So onward we go. Keep looking. Anyway, so we're looking ways to improve it. And you have to look at the many things that happen in your life. Because, again, the big picture is too overwhelming under that campus or under the canvas, right? It's just so chaotic, but you have to look at the one little florette that you can actually see at the back end of the canvas. Anyway, um, so there's other ways to improve health. Your, your walking can boost your mood. So exercise, I don't know if you guys ever seen Legally Blonde, but I love that movie with, um, her name's Ellen there. That's her character. Reese Witherspoon, love Reese Witherspoon. Okay, she talks about, you know, they're on this trial for this lady who supposedly commit murder. And she's like, no, she didn't do it because she's a fitness guru. And those who exercise has some sort of hormone that makes you happy all the time and blah, blah, blah. And so exercise gets those hormones going, the happy hormones. 
and help you kind of stay above the water, you know, when you feel like you're sinking into everything. And then eating healthy, regular meals and staying hydrated, which, you know, we're working on water, we're working on exercise. And we're, this is my way of thinking, I'm going to keep working on it until I get it right. Because I have a goal. And I'm taking baby steps to get there. And I'm not gonna stop. Because the moment you start, again, the big picture, this is when you get overwhelmed. Because you picture your, your life. I mean, you picture your life like, I, I don't know, you, you have to picture your life. But at the same time, you get overwhelmed when you get when you feel realize, holy cow, I've got a lot of stuff to work on, right? But walking every day, exercising helps those hormones to get those happy moments. Eat healthy, regular meals, stay hydrated, make a sleep priority, try a relaxing activity, set goals and priorities, practice gratitude, focus on positivity, staying connected. So those are, and that's from um, National Institute Institution of Mental Health. Those are those where I got that. So again, overall. This is a high level overall of mental health, not into the nitty gritty yet, but just something to keep us positive, something to just keep us motivated, something to just help when all else feels like everything around you is just falling apart, right? Because it does. Every, it, it gets to those moments and we all have them. Nobody's above them. And there's moments and, and you know, like, I'll just put a little bit, my my pastor, you know, he's like, it happens for a reason because it teaches us lessons. It might teach us where we don't ever want to go back to, right? Because my my housemate and I were talking, when I get a job, holy cow, we're doing this finance thing, her and I together. And they say to have three to six months of bills saved for emergencies, just like what I'm going through right now, right? And And it's like, oh, yeah. I'm going to have a whole year saved. You know, I, I, I do not want to go through this again. It, it is, it, it brings you down. It brings you really, really low, like low as you can go sometimes. And you think, oh my word, I'm never going to get through this. And then um, things to avoid. Now, I thought this was interesting because, you know, and they even, there's some stimulants, okay? They use drinking drugs, coffee, and this is from mountainside.com treatment, okay? Things to avoid with mental health because you don't want those, what happens with the stimulants is you feel okay for like what? I don't know, caffeine sucks for me, so it never works for me. I don't drink anymore and I've never done drugs, right? But you feel like everything's hunky-gory, and actually, this woman in here talks about it, too. It's very interesting because her son needed the drugs to stay stable. And the moment he went off, that's when the suicide thoughts would come in. Um, and she said there is just a fine line. And when you have those stimulants, you're, you're good for what? Ten minutes? I don't know. Let's see. When I drank, I did used to drink. I was happy. We had a great time. And then I woke up. But, you know, everything faced you right then and there. Everything still faces you when that stimulant, and then you need more, and then you need more, and you're not doing the healthy things to get your mind in the right place. So it's like a catch twenty two, right? And and mine could be like eating, right? Emotional eating. This is where emotional eating is coming in. You to make yourself or shopping. They put in shopping in here too. I thought that was interesting. The things that we um, gravitate to that make us happy for an instant. For one instant, it makes you happy, but then you still have to face the reality. And instead, and, and it just keeps pushing us down, pushing us down. Like today, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I didn't tell my housemate. My housemate, I told you, has been doing, you know, this 30, 365, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I've been trying to maintain it as much as she does. I, I do whole grains, like I do whole wheat bread and things like that where she doesn't. But, um, you know, I got, oh, let me just take it out. Let me see if I can take it out. I hit it. I hit it. I'm a closet eater. Can you see it? Can you see it? 
there was like 10 left in there. And I thought, I need some sugar because, you know, I'm stressed and, and I'm frustrated today. I've been stressed and frustrated for two, so, three, maybe four, a whole month. Okay. Let me just say a whole month. And, you know, you go to these things and it gives you that briefest moment of happiness. But guess what? You're still facing the same problems. So, like, you have to, we got to get to a point, I've got to get to a point where you tackle one thing at a time. Like, the baby steps of our health, like, we're, we're drinking water. We're exercising. Hopefully this month coming up, we're going to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a vegetable a day. I'm going to be very small with the food. I think vegetables is what I'm lacking the most. And um, because I'll have like a bagel, whole wheat bagel in the morning. I have my Kashi cereal in the morning, all organic stuff, right? But I don't have any vegetables. Now fruits, fruits are sugars and and they're the good sugars. But I, I kind of want to we're going to not do the sugars. I want to get to the vegetable point. I think vegetables is what I need most. Anyway, so um, things to avoid. Having a, uh, I'm going to not, Brooke's not here to correct my um, pronunciation. Sedentary lifestyle, right? Sitting still. Okay. I worked at, I worked in a customer service where I sat down for eight hours a day at my desk. I have a desk here if you can see it. It's a stand-up desk. They provided it for me, and I used it once in a while, but not like I should have. But the so movement, movement is key to keep your mind healthy, um, and your body, your mind, your body, everything. And then spending too much time on your phone, suppressing anger and other strong emotions, living in a messy environment, putting your partner—I don't know about this—putting your partner's needs before your own. Hopefully, if you had a right partner. You all, you could come alongside each other and uplift each other and, and do that, right? But I'm not sure how I feel about that one. But so what I wanted to get across today is mental health versus mental illness. We're going to, our topic's mental health, okay? Because I don't think Brooke and I have a mental illness. We just have, we are in need of mental health, right? Um, I wanted to get the difference out. I also want to make sure. This is just me researching. I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to diagnose anything. I'm not here to help you help you with your, you know, what's going on. I'm not a therapist, nothing like that. Psychologist, nothing. I'm just trying to help my mental health. And um, and so the things that we have to do, like I was thinking, what could one takeaway? I, I had a, a couple of questions. What is my takeaway from just what I've learned and what I've read? Because there was a, another book that I read and I thought it was just an appropriate time to read something because, and, and this is what happens when you, I don't even know how to say it. I wanted a takeaway because I'm going to face tomorrow. And what I did all day today is I had an interview. I applied at... I have no idea how many jobs, but I, I was redoing my resume, applying at jobs, reaching out to people I've already applied to, and that's where I'm spending my day, right? Um, but I need to earn money. I have no car to, but my housemate has graciously um, said I could use her vehicle, but it's it's ginormous, and it's a gas guzzler, and how I wanted to do it, I'm pretty sure I'll just make enough money to put the gas in, but I don't know. We're going to try it this week. Um Anyway, because I got to start saving up for, because I have everything paid up until May. So I, I my bills are going to start coming in end of April where I got to start paying it up, right? Um, but I don't know. It, it's just, I, I feel like there's a pattern. There's a pattern. Like I always like my take, I'm, I'm going to get to the takeaway. Hopefully I don't forget. Um. You look at these people who seem like they have it all together, but the the sad thing is, <laughs> and I think one of my friends can contest this, they always don't have it together. They just struggle in a different way, right? Um, so everybody's out there trying to work on their mental health in the way because we all struggle with it, and um, it, it just 
I think we're all in it together. I, I think of like, and I don't want to talk about the mental illness, but I don't know if you've ever seen The Joker. The Joker was such an amazing movie. I don't usually watch rated R movies, but I wanted to because Joaquin Phoenix, I always knew he would make a good bad guy. And just the whole premises of what the Joker is about, which is mental illness. And um, and I, I, I commend DC for putting that out there and, you know, putting it out because a lot of people think, oh, just get over it. Put your big girl panties on. Um, just move on, you know, and, and it's not the same because we all have different personalities. We all have different struggles. Um, and, and some things, you know, like I wasn't counting on my car, you know, and, you know, I'm trying to get it fixed, but I don't even know how much it is. I haven't gotten an estimate yet. Anyway, so it's like, I have no idea. I just feel like it affects everything. It affects everything around you. And and it affects ev everything. It just affects everything. And, and if we can't take the little baby steps, like how, my question is this, how do you get to the point where you start working on the mental health and not going to whoppers? right? Our stimulants, our little happy moments. How do you overcome getting to the point where you're moving forward instead of constantly staying the same and feeling like a sinking rat, right? Like you're just going to sink and there's just no getting out of it. How? So my, my takeaway is this, like I was thinking, what, what do I want to take away? Um, cause I, I put a question, what, what's the takeaway from this? How can I do one little baby step for my mental health starting tomorrow? Because I think it's so important to like start. And that's, that's what I did with all these, these streams. I have my grandma's voice in my head in a big way. I, I would call her once a week when, when she was here, um, cause she was in Michigan. I was in South Carolina and I called her all the time and, you know, I'd always tell her all my struggles and my struggles have always been the same, always been the same. I'm just being transparent finances. Wait, I, I actually, I used to journal all the time, all the time. And I think journaling is a, is a great thing, but I look back at those journals and it's always the same five things. And I can't remember them all right now. And it's like, Oh my word, can I get a grip on it? Can I grasp it yet? And, you know, I have to do, and, and, and oh, man, I was watching something else. I've, I've, I've been researching the mental health and I should have been taking better notes. I apologize. But, um, oh, oh, that was the finance guy. I love this. Oh, let me see. I don't have my notes. I don't have my notes, but I'm going to look it up because he had some really good quotes. Okay. Really good quotes. Um, oh, let me see. Oh, let me look it up here. Okay, here we go. Ooh, something sticky on my phone. Gross. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to stick on my tongue. Uh, let me see more items. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, life will not make allowance for you, but it will pay you what you earn. So work hard. I mean, he was talking about working hard the other day. Like you reap what you sow. Well, reapers, you know, what, those people who are out there sowing things, it's hard work, it's discipline. It's, you know, and uh, I don't want, you know, I think, wow, that's where I lack right there. Um, let me see. <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. He was talking about doing the same thing over and over. I mean, I think you've heard of the, but he had a better quote. Um, you know, what is that? What is that one? If you keep repeating the same thing over and over again, 
and and nothing ever changes it's 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 really time to change what you're doing um oh here we go oh he's this is about him he says hitting bottom and hitting it hard was the worst thing that ever happened to me and the best thing that ever happened to me because he got his life together. So maybe hitting rock bottom sometimes isn't so bad because you're, again, what my pastor was saying, it teaches you things. It's a discipline thing. It's a, it's a teaching moment. Oh, where is the one I want? Let me look it up a different way. Because I thought this was really good. Hold on. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Nobody's chatting, right? Oop, oop, oop. Okay, good. Good. Okay, here we go. This is one. This is one of them. But there was another one like the repeat, you know, or whatever. I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Brooke's not here to correct me because she's better at that. Okay, so it says, one definition of maturity is learning to delay pleasure. Adults devise a plan and follow it. Children do what feels good. And I think all my life I've been doing what feels good to me. I don't want to do the hard thing. And, you know, and it's like almost like a marathon, right? You're, you're training for it. You, you do baby steps. You start building that strength and that training. And then once you get to the point where you can run the race, but it takes those little baby steps to get to the point where you can run a marathon. And it gets easier. So I have to do what's hard in order for my life to change. That's the nutshell right there. I have to do what's hard. What's hard for me now, but it will get easier. I mean, I didn't brush my teeth automatically, right? Our habits. I didn't brush my teeth automatically. My mom had to remind me constantly, constantly. What really got my teeth going, though, is I had like a cavity at age 13. And it was the most painful thing. I even got to the point where I was so obsessive. So maybe that pain is what really taught me to brush my teeth on a regular basis, right? Because I had to get it out or... My teeth were just going to go kapooey. And all that pain, but now my teeth, great shape. Got little gaps, though, but that's because I have holes back here. But that, that's a different story for another time, right? Um, anyway, so I'm going to repeat this quote. It's time to change the way I do things. It's time to do the hard thing. It's time to commit to it. It's time to just be stubborn about it. And, and, not let other people get in your way. And, and you want those who are going to run alongside you, support you. And, you know, even maybe, you know, my, I, I don't know, Jen's not in here because I'm pretty sure she's in bed, but like, you know, my, my dad has some issues, right? And my mom, my mom has to give some things up to help him, right? And, and that's what you do. You want somebody who's going to run alongside you, who's going to encourage you, who's going to just uplift you and not bring you to the same spot you have been your whole life. And I, I, I think of my life, you know, I think, you know, I, I have struggled with the same five things throughout my whole journals. And it's like, it's time. It's time to set myself up for success, right? But also doing the hard thing and saying no to some things. Like, I'm going to game tonight. I'm going to be honest with you, right? I don't know how late I'm going to stay up, but it's not like I get sleep anyway and not have anything. But I have to give up some of that gaming. I can't do it every night and stay up till the wee hours. That's my one thing that just really gets me when I'm actually healthy and can breathe. That's where my sleep patterns just go off the rails. And when I get a job or I need to get to the point where I'm out there doing a job, right? So it's like I have to do the hard thing.
And it's not like I don't love gaming and everything, but maybe a specific day and time and and sticking with it. There's the discipline, being self-disciplined, being, you know, still doing those things you enjoy because I don't think, you know, we're here to enjoy life as well. And if you look at those people that you admire, that you look up to and they look like they have their whole life together, they didn't get there overnight. They just set up constant good habits. And um, the person that wrote this book, her husband wrote the best song ever. And um, it's called Little by Little, Inch by Inch, right? You, you do everything in little tiny steps. That's the success. And you can't look up. It says, don't look up at the stair. Don't look up there. Just go at the step. Look at the one step. Don't look at the big picture. Don't look at where you have to get to. Just look where you're at. And then that way when you can look back, okay, I did this and this, but don't look that way. Look back in what you've already accomplished, right? I think I started the streams. I've been dying to do it. I've been wanting to do a health stream for years. Um, I have other streams out there that I've been wanting to do because I enjoy it. I enjoy sharing my life. I enjoy, I enjoy so many things. I, I am just a crazy person sometimes. Um, but you have to start somewhere. And this is what this is doing. We're starting water, exercise. Next month, I'm going to do a little food. And I think tomorrow what I'm going to do, and there's some things they said, and I didn't put it in this one, like doing some meditations, reading things that are so positive, like reading this stuff about the mental illness and everything and how people have overcome it. How they got through it is encouraging to other people. Um, reading true stories about people who have been where you have been, right? Or um, looking on podcasts or things like that that will just help and encourage you and do some fun things. You have to do some fun things, but don't let that be the all in all and you just stay sit sitting there floating with a little... You're just floating and waiting for that lifesaver to come in, right? You're waiting for that. You're just struggling, waiting for that lifesaver. It's not going to come if you're not ready to do some hard work and start paddling over to the boat, whatever. I don't know. I'm trying to do some crazy inspiration things, but they're not working very well. Anyway. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, but that was a good productive cough. Hallelujah. That's my cough drop. My last cough drop. My last productive cough. I've been drinking hot water, lemon, and ginger. But my takeaway. All right, because I'm going to head out here. I just wanted to get on. My takeaway. I'm, I'm going to walk outside. Instead of doing exercise in the house, I think that's a good idea. I'm going to take my dog. And I'm going to go and walk on a trail. And I'm going to get some sunshine, some vitamin D. I think that's what I'm going to do because that goes right along with my exercising. And even if I walk around the yard for 10 minutes with my dog, I'm going to get outside because it does say, you know, um, get outside and get some fresh air. And maybe it'll help me with my sickness. I have no idea. But um, that that's my takeaway. I'm going to just do one little thing and and boost those hormones that help with the right path, going down that right path and, and going where it needs to go. But um, listen, I'm sorry that we're not all here. Um, things are going on and it's okay because we, we're, uh, Brooke and I are just in moments where we're just struggling and, and we usually take it out on the ones we love most, right? And you just, we, we're just, we just got to keep pushing. And I don't know how to inspire anybody out there, but like, you're not alone. People are and facing such difficulties right now in this world as well. And we're here, but we have to start making tiny, minuscule changes to get where we want to go. It's true. We've got to do it. And, and it's not going to be an easy journey. I think we've said this right from the beginning. It's not an easy journey. It's not. 
It is a journey that is going to be long, hard, and I'm tired of doing the easy thing. I really am. And I don't know if anybody knows, you know, does this, but like I used to work on a horse farm years, years and years ago. And it was hard, extraordinary, hard work. I think they had this horse farm had like over 200 horses that they housed and they had their own. And we went in there, the crew that took care of the horses and cleaned up after the horses went in there and we were there all day. And I'm telling you, it was the best I've ever felt. It was the best shape I've ever been in the most muscles I've ever had. And it was hard work. And you know, when you do work that hard, it is rewarding. It's rewarding. And that's what I'm looking forward to is all of this hard work. All of these baby steps are going to lead to where I visualize my life. And, and I, I just, you know, it's going to be worth it. I don't know if you ever work hard and you've ever had like physical, physical labor where you're just working really hard. It is so rewarding. And this is where we're at. We're physically, we're mentally working our butts off to get where we want to be. So anyway, we're going to get our rosebud and our thorn and our, I don't remember the other one, not a leaf, our rose, oh, our rose and our bud and our thorn. Got it. Anyway, so we'll do that next week. I haven't been doing very well. I don't know about Brooke, but I'm pretty sure we're both in the same boat and but we're, we're not, we're not quitting. I'm not quitting. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to do it. The sickness, I'm not going to let it get me down. I mean, it did get me down last week because I literally could not stay awake, but I'm not going to let it get me down. And I, I'm just ready to tackle, tackle the world. Let's do this. Let's do it together. Whoever's watching out there, thanks so much for reaching and staying with me and, and we'll be here next Monday, but um, do something. Do something. One baby step tomorrow to help you with your mental health. Everybody do it. You pick it, whatever it is, and, and just realize we're on a rough road. We're not on the, you know, we're not going to be. <laughs> anyway, I could tell you so many quotes, but all right. Have a great night. Thanks for joining me. I will be here next Monday. Lord Will and Brooke will be here as well. And I hope you guys have an amazing evening. Get some rest. And take care, losers. Bye. Oh, let me get myself together, though. I got to find everything that I got to close out here. I got to find everything I got to close out. So I'm going to stop Twitch. Bye, Twitch fa people, fam, whatever. I uh, hope you have a great one. Sorry about the beginning. No, no words. But hang in there. Go to YouTube. But thanks for watching. Twitch, Twitch is gone. All right, so then that one. Now I got to stop YouTube. All right, bye everybody. Oh wait, my title didn't go in there. Did I take my title out? Oh, anyway, thank you. Have a good one. Bye bye.